Hi, I'm Chef Nancy Hughes. I'm the author of the 15-Minute Diabetic Meals Cookbook with the American Diabetes Association. Everybody loves soup, absolutely everybody, but it also takes a long time and it cooks away all the nutrients. With this soup, the tomato basil soup with chicken, it takes you 15 minutes flat. You take your chicken broth and you pour it in your pan and you have your diced tomatoes with basil and oregano and then you add navy beans. Navy beans, just half a can, but you make sure you drain them and then you rinse them and then drain them again. You want to take the gunk and get rid of that part and you just want the nice bean, the nice firm bean. It's a clean taste. It takes away that cloudiness. And you add that and then just a tip of sugar, a teaspoon of sugar. The sugar, what that does, it's not a lot, but it adds just enough to cut the acidity from the tomatoes. And then you put it over heat, bring it up to a boil, cover, simmer, five minutes. That's all you do. And while that's simmering, you just measure out your spinach. It's no chop, it's baby spinach, it's fresh from the package, it's already rinsed, so you just pull it from the package, you don't have to chop it, you don't have to wash it, you don't have to stem it, you don't have to do anything. You just measure it out. And then you add chicken. And the chicken, you can have leftover chicken. It's great for leftover chicken. Absolutely great. But if you don't have that, a rotisserie chicken's good. Or you can cook it. Just take an 8-ounce chicken breast, cook it 3 minutes on each side. It's done. And then some fresh basil. That's all there is to it. Okay. After it's cooked 5 minutes, that's all. You just take it off the heat. You add your spinach. The heat from the soup will wilt it just slightly and it cooks it and it's just tender and just the flavors are right on top. And you add your chicken and your basil. Everything is on top. And then you just drizzle just a teaspoon of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil over it all. You just stir it and just the, like I said, the heat from the soup just lightly wilts the spinach. Isn't that beautiful? The bright, bright green and the deep reds. I oh, mean, it brings so much comfort. And so what you do then is you, you need, it makes four cups. So each person gets a cup. Well, that's a cup. But when you put it in a bowl, it looks like so much more, especially a shallow bowl. Then you put it in a shallow bowl and then you sprinkle the cheese just lightly over it all. And again, the heat from the soup melts the cheese just so slightly. That is a bowl of comfort. I hope you're hungry.